The memorial to the 392nd Bombardment Group is on a well-tended, expansive site. The impressive memorial is not overawed in the least by the extensive site and commands attention from all those who pass by. As we approach the memorial, we notice that the hedges have recently been replanted, an indicator of the high level of local care and respect afforded the memory of the men who served here. The details of the service and of the sacrifice are there for all to see. As we walk round the memorial, further inscriptions give us details of the auxiliary services that served on the base, and of the local people who made this memorial possible, and of the squadrons that served. The detail is clearer in this image. Around the base of the memorial, the four principal compass directions show the proximity of key aspects of the airfield, demonstrating the central location of the memorial site. Just over 10 miles to the east, the village of North Tuddenham has two memorials to the crew of a B-24 Liberator from Wendling. The first memorial is in the porch of this magnificent church. Known as Kentucky Baby, the Liberator crashed on North Tuddenham Common on the 21st of April 1944. The second memorial to the crew of Kentucky Baby is on North Tuddenham Common, overlooking the crash site. This 1946 photograph of the airfield shows the 6,000 feet long main runway intersecting with the two secondary runways of 4,200 feet to form the traditional capital A shape. On this recent map, the main runway is clearly visible with much of the other two runways also in evidence. The map also shows that the end of the main runway is 0.2 miles south of the memorial site, as is recorded on the base of the memorial. <laughs> 